In 1967, the home of Bird's Custard relocated to Banbury after 30 years of producing and selling custard in Digbeth. Thankfully, in 1988, Benny Gray took over and with the help of local architect Lucian Gray created a space for over 400 artists and businesses, thus beginning the creative hub that is the custard factory today. I think in Birmingham we don't have much areas that express creative people in terms of like in London, you have more really more area like Brick Lane, Shoreditch and everything. But Custard Factory is like the mini Shoreditch over here. So a lot of creative people tend to come here because of the artwork around here. The growing amount of street art has taken on the form of foliage, creeping up the sides of walls and covering entire buildings. The ever-changing exterior of the Custard Factory is owed to the unique street artists who choose to call Digbeth their home. It seems like a really cool place, two palantate places. Um, it's quite similar to like the vibes of like Brick Lane, etc. No, I was going to say that the, um, the eyes remind me of um, my A-level uh, English <laughs> when, I, um, when we studied um, The Great Gatsby and like the eyes, the uh, Echo Bird's eyes. The annual City of Colours festivals bring together graffiti and street artists to celebrate urban culture and the Custard Factory is the central location for over 120 visiting artists. Businesses such as graffitiartists.com who participate in such festivals and provide equipment and paint for artists have chosen to set up here. It's going to sound crazy but I want to make it like you don't have to go to London to do all this stuff. You just you can do stuff like this in Birmingham, you have to, it's just about connecting because I feel like there's a circle in Birmingham of creative people, but I feel like some people are too scared to do it because they feel like you have to compete with the people that's already there. But I feel like it's just doing small stuff and just making use of your local area, like Birmingham Costa Factory.